destination this part of Nanjing. Um, later coming up we'll be visiting Confucius Temple, we'll be looking at the canals that make Nanjing quite famous and also uh, at the later part we'll be looking at a duck duel. Now this has been going on for thousands of years, what's better? Peking duck or Nanjing duck? We'll be looking at that later. Also at the very end of the program we'll be eating something called teppanyaki where the food is cooked in front of you Japanese style on a black ribbon. So join me and Vito for part two of An Armstrong's Giant. Join us later for Armstrong's Giant Leap Nanjing Part Two. That's two for you dimwits in French. Au revoir. Welcome back to Armstrong's Giant Leap. Now, as I promised earlier, we're going to be talking about the Great China Duck Debate. Which is the best tasting duck? On this side, we have Beijing Duck. Better known to us in the West as Peking Duck. On this side, we have Nanjing Duck. Better known to us in the West as Nanjing Duck. Okay, so I've got a couple of likely lads here. One's from Beijing. Hello, sir. How are you? Very Hello. good. Yeah. One is from Nanjing. We're going to decide this raging argument that's been going on for thousands of years. Finally, in the streets of Nanjing. Here we go. Right. I'm not going to be the judge. I'm going to get a duck expert in to be the judge of this. His name's uh, English name is Tony. Yeah. Tony, welcome. If you could just uh, be the judge and ask them why their duck is better. Okay. Yeah. Good luck, guys. Um, final decision. Let's start. Shall we? The first. Well, which one's better? I think we're gonna have a duel. He said something about his grandma and a duck fornicating. The other one said, "Oh my God!" Oh no! Oh, you have your fight. Okay, okay, okay. This is getting ugly. Okay. We, we gotta, we better get out of here. No, look, there's cops down there with guns. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Shit. We gotta go. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, give me a minute. <laughs> Haven't run like that since. Oh, uh, Farmer Jacob chased me off his uh, field, trying to shag his sheep. That was close. Um, I'll take this off. I'm sweating a bit. Show you my magnificent figure. Oh, there it is. <laughs> now, I'd have hated for us to get arrested, mate, for abusing cooked ducks on the streets of Nanjing. 
In China, it's probably a capital offence. Can you imagine entering like a strict prison in China and they're saying, what are you in for? And you say, uh, abusing a duck, it would be like, you're my bitch now. No, don't want to get into that scene. Uh, anyway, what about that duck duel? Pathetic, wasn't it? It was like handbags at dawn, you know what I mean? Or ducks at dawn, uh, if you like. It's like, uh, uh. It reminded me of an old James Mason film. Gentlemen, choose your weapons. The duck today is particularly foul. Anyway, Vito, suck my horse. I feel like a ride. Turn to the Fuzin Miao area. Fuzin Miao actually means uh, Confucius. Uh, ergo, the Confucius temple where students many, many years ago used to take their uh, exams to get into the civil service, the government, and once they secured a position in the Chinese government, they were set for life. And um, so, as you can see, uh, Nanjing has uh, a wonderful canal system, a bit like Venice. Therefore, it's known as the Venice of China. It's not. No, it's not. It's not known for the Venice of China. Nope. They don't know that. We could have gotten <laughs> away with that. Twat. Okay, it's not the Venice of China. But there are lots of uh, canals to actually come here and travel around uh, Nanjing. It's a beautiful area. Very touristy. Today's a Sunday. So uh, many Chinese people, uh, they get their day off, they come here. They eat and enjoy themselves and socialize. It is really a great area if you come here. Uh, very photogenic as well. Has a lovely buzz about it. Okay, so that's Fuzi Meow. Uh, I'm getting really hungry. Uh, I want to go and eat something. Um, Vito's told me about something called Tuppen... Tuppenware... Tuppen... Tuppen Yak. Tuppen... Tuppen... Yes, pronounce that. We're going. We're going there. I'm hungry. <laughs> Bye. What's that? What's that? Sushi. Is it crab? It's file grid assorted. I mean, we'll just have some. All sorts. It's good. It's good. Well, cheers. Thanks for watching Armstrong's Giant Leap with me and Vito. Um, Vito's my long suffering uh, cameraman, and he will be more long suffering as Armstrong's Giant Leap sees. Um, we've eaten so much food, I'm going to need to get in a wheelbarrow. Someone's got to carry me out there. Vito, can I get a piggy back? Well, not me. You're um, going to have to walk. I'm as full as an egg. Uh, very well lubricated. Um, Nanjing, uh, what can I say? Spectacular, brilliant, great city, uh, great people, very friendly. Um, come here, enjoy yourself, relax. Next week, hopefully, join us on part two where we'll be discovering the CD underbelly of Nanjing's mother. Can't wait. We'll be looking at hotels with 32 sweets and a can of beans. What does that mean? <laughs> Cheers.
Ibu ya.